Welcome to We Make Change, the tiny house build. Today we're going to have a behind the scenes look uh, through a galvanizing plant to show and explain the galvanizing process for our tiny house trailer. So the galv uh, dipping process protects the steel from the elements. Uh, the beauty about the galv dipping process is it protects the internal surfaces as well as the external surfaces. So what you're getting when uh, the fabrication is dipped into the molten zinc is an amalgamation between the two materials um, forming a zinc steel alloy. Um, this coating um, or protection can last anywhere between 10 and 100 years uh, depending on the elements. So any galvanizing plant around the world operates in a similar fashion. Uh, basically before the part gets um, lowered into zinc there's a series of preparation that has to happen. Um, so generally the part is lifted up uh, through like a gantry system and then dunked into a number of tanks along the way. So the first one in our case is the caustic uh, tank. Uh, this, this is to remove any oils, paint and grease from the part which lasts for approximately 10 minutes. From there the, the fabrication is dropped into or placed into the acid tank uh, for approximately 20 minutes. This removes any other impurities. Um, from this point here the part is now pretty clean but it, it needs to be um, dropped into the flux tank and this will prevent any oxidization. Uh, so then from there the preparation is all complete and it's time to drop, drop the part into uh, the zinc bath. So this is um, heated up to uh, 455 degrees uh, approximately uh, where the zinc turns into a liquid uh, and then once that there is complete uh, the part is then placed into a quenching tank uh, which reduces the temperature down to approximately 60 degrees um, this this limits the amount of oxidization happening and also from a handling point of view means uh, the part can be um, handled uh, after the quenching process a lot quicker. So the fabrication gets lowered uh, slowly down into the molten zinc and you can see that the part gets lowered down on an angle. If you refer to my previous video I explain uh, why this is and where to drill uh, holes for venting and drainage. Uh, so as the part um, clashes down with the molten zinc um, you can see there's a bit of a fierce reaction and zinc um, does get flung across the room a little bit. This is any moisture in the steel is causing this reaction. So in the case of our trailer frame uh, it needed to be uh, double dipped uh, so the the molten zinc um, tank is not di uh, not deep enough to uh, for the height of the trailer um, so it needs to be uh, dipped once this way and then removed and turned around and dunked the other way. Uh, the fabrication spends uh, approximately 10 minutes in the molten zinc bath and at this stage uh, the fabrication is hoisted up um, and you can see here um, they're hitting the sides this is just to ensure that all the zinc um, runs smoothly through the drainage holes. So as part of the dipping process um, a byproduct is produced on the surface of the molten zinc called ash now the fabrication is lowered into the quenching bath uh, following on it's laid down on a dolly just to dry off and for further transportation 
uh, out into the yard uh, just to be cleaned up uh, for the wire uh, that was supporting the frame on the gantry to be cut off and for the quality control person to uh, ensure uh, the job is done to a satisfactory standard. I'd like to thank Galvanising HB uh, who made this uh, factory tour possible um, and also helping me out with our tiny house trailer. Uh, you can check out their website um, in the show notes below. Otherwise check out uh, wemakechange.co.nz for further tiny house info.